Lee Jun Fan, commonly known as Bruce Lee, was a Hong Kong American martial artist, actor, director, martial arts instructor, and philosopher. He is considered by commentators, critics, media, and other martial artists to be the most influential martial artist of all time, a pop culture icon of the 20th century who bridged the gap between East and West. He is credited with helping to change the way Asians were presented in American films. In his short life, Bruce Lee not only raised the bar on actions to ridiculous and never-before-seen levels, but changed everything we knew about action on the big screen. Always imitated and paid tribute to, he will never be replaced and forgotten. So, with a little bit of reminisce, we made a list of the top 10 Bruce Lee moments. Number 10. An Orphan's Tragedy 1955. Profiter to Chayan Lao Hak Soon framed Dixon Fan in Chao Fan for selling counterfeit medicine, which led Fan 14 years of unjust imprisonment. Fan escapes prison to a rural farm where he meets teenager Frank Wong, Bruce Lee, who helps him escape arrest from the police. Later on, Fan discovers that Frank is his biological son and he finds a job outside the provincial capital in order to earn money and anonymously pay for Frank to study medicine outside of town. Frank, not knowing that Fan is his father, believes that Fan is donating money to him out of gratitude. After graduating, Frank works at Toss Medical Company. To has always suspected Frank to be Fan's son, in order to force Fan to come out of hiding, he frames Frank the way that he framed Fan back then. Number 9. The Guiding Light, 1953 In yet another message-driven melodrama, a foster child gets adopted by a doctor and his wife, who run an orphanage for blind girls. When Lee's character grows up, he discovers the cure for blindness. The movie ends with a direct-to-camera plea, every child can be just like him. Poor handicapped children are waiting for your love, for education, and nurturing. By this point in his career, Lee had mastered the orphan rule, infusing his performance with a heavy dollop of fetus. But he is faced with dilemma when his real parents show up and want him back. Number 8. Love Part 1 and 2 1955 Set on board a steamship, this two-part melodrama unfolds in six episodes, dealing with six different aspects of love. In the fifth storyline, Lee plays the youngest son in a family of struggling street performers. A flashback of father and son performing for a crowd allows Lee a hum at heart to display his talent for showmanship. It's utterly charming and one of the best scenes of Lee's career. Number 7. Marlowe 1969 Lee's first Hollywood cameo was a gift from his Oscar-winning Kung Fu student Sterling Seliphant, who came up with the character of mob enforcer Wenslow Wong for his mentor to play. There are moments when Lee, who was self-conscious about his Chinese accent, comes off as stiff and nervous as he exchanged snappy dialogue with James Garner's Marlowe. But he eventually loosens up during a scene in which he demolishes Marlowe's office in one continuous ballet of directed violence. The movie fluffed at a box office and was panned by critics. Roger Everett reserved his only praise for the action sequence, although he didn't deem Lee important enough to use his name or get his ethnicity right. Somewhere about the time when the Japanese karate expert wrecks his office, in a very funny scene, we realize Marlowe has lost track of the plot too. Number 6. The Kid 1950 Lee landed his first daring rule with his fourth film, and once again about a tough street orchard with a heart of gold. At just 10 years old, Lee shows off a range of emotions and raw charisma. In one scene, he humorously imitates his teacher. In another, he puffs himself up with a cocky bravado and throwing his shoulder back and tumbling his nose at an opponent, 
One of his signature moves is an adult actor. The movie was a box office hit and a sequel was planned that might have turned Lee into a Macaulay Culkin of Hong Kong. But his father refused to let him repeat the rule. Lee was causing trouble in school and getting into fights on the streets, so his parents put him a show business timeout until his behavior improved. It didn't, but they eventually let him continue acting anyway. Number 5. Fist of Fury, 1972 Lee's second contractual movie with Golden Harvest Studio was his only period piece. He plays Jin Jin, the student of a famous Kung Fu master in 1930s colonial Shanghai. When Jin Jin discovers his master was killed by the Japanese, he unleashes his furious feast. The movie over its nationalism was like an adrenaline shoot of pure patriotism. Many Chinese fans ripped off their seats cushions and threw them around the theater when Lee's character strutted into a Japanese dojo and declared, The Chinese are not the sick men of Asia. Interestingly, Lee was a fan of Japanese films particularly Zatochi, the blind swordsman and he approaches his rule with an exaggerated emotional style of Japanese samurai movies, Chambara. It doesn't quite work, but Lee's fight choreography is so riveting it doesn't matter. Number 4. The Big Boss, 1971 For someone as worldly as Lee, he had a fondness for playing naives. In his first Golden Harvest movie, his character emigrated to Thailand to work in an ice factory, which is actually a front for a drug smuggling operation. He was a very simple straightforward guy like if you told him something he'd believe you lee explained then when he finally figures out he's been had he goes animal his primal performance in the movie's primary pleasure he rips through his enemies with lushful glee hong kong audiences were blown away the big boss turned lee into the biggest star in southeast asia number three way of the dragon 1972 Lee hoped this Hong Kong movie, which he wrote, directed, and starred in, would be his ticket back to Hollywood as a leading man. Lee plays Tong Long, a knife bumpkin sent to Rome to protect a Chinese restaurant from the mafia. Well, it is a really simple plot of a country boy going to a place where he cannot speak the language, but somehow he comes out on top, because he honestly and simply expressed himself, Lee laughingly told Esquire by beating the hell out of everybody who gets in his way. In his directorial debut, Lee was unable to balance the humor of early fish-out-water scenes with the violence at the end. The film's appeals rest almost entirely of his fight scene with his student Chuck Norris, arguably the best one ever captured on celluloid. Number 2. The Orphan, 1960 Lee was never fully comfortable on screen unless he was the star, and he had been waiting 10 years since the kid for a leading role. Modeling his troubled teenage character on James Dean and Rebel Without a Cause, Lee gave his most emotional complex performance as an actor in this film. One moment, he is snarkling to Nis, laughing maniacally and all the while spewing out the fitted stew of Cantonese street slang. Hong Kong boys were so taken with Lee swaggering hoodlum that they began to emulate how he smoked cigarettes and cha cha dance, causing one concerned high school principal to hang a banner across his school entrance reading, No one is allowed to imitate Bruce Lee's Assam in The Orphan. Number 1. Enter the Dragon, 1973. This cheaply made James Bond riff off was supposed to be Lee's entry into superstardom. Instead, his death a month before its release left it a high watermark of his career. The multiracial cast and cat trucking villain and the tournament structure launched the West Kung Fu craze, and a thousand imitators, terrified that Warner Bros. would recut the movie to make Jan Saxon the star, Lee fought on screen and off to stamp his personality onto every frame. The result was a performance so intense, he seemed to vibrate off the screen. Two hours of watching Lee punch, kick, and hug 
His way through dozens of bad guys inspired millions of Western kids to take up the martial arts. Enter the Dragon is the movie that cemented Lee's legacy in film and beyond. Those are the top 10 Bruce Lee moments. We are pretty sure that all of those are familiar to his fans, especially the 70s, 80s, and 90s. Do we have someone here who is watching? Whether we are living in those years or in the latest generations, we all knew and agreed that Lee is doing his best for every film. Which movie is your top favorite and how many times did you watch it? Let us know in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video, please like and share. We are making and uploading great and quality videos every day. Please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. Also, don't forget to click the notification bell to get updated. Till next time!